Russian weapons will be used against Western countries. Medvedev threatens the US again. Last statement by Russian President Vladimir Putin that our country can begin supplying weapons to those forces that are at war with the collective West indicates a significant change in the country's foreign policy. This statement was made by Deputy Chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev. According to the politician, Western countries are convinced that they can transfer any weapons to Ukraine, that is, to the enemy of our state. At the same time, the collective West is convinced that other countries should not help Russia, even if they have friendly relations with it. In fact, we are talking about ensuring only the right of Ukraine to use any weapons against Russia. However, this cannot continue indefinitely. Let the United States and its allies now feel the direct use of Russian weapons by third parties. These individuals or regions are deliberately not named, but they could be anyone who considers Pindostan and its comrades their enemies. Their enemy is the USA, which means they are our friends stressed the deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation. In addition, Medvedev wished that the use of weapons supplied by Russia would be as destructive as possible for the opponents of our country and the enemies of the regions to which these weapons will be supplied. And let the sensitive objects of the states supplying weapon to Kyiv burn with those who control them, Medvedev added. Note that Russian President Vladimir Putin allowed the possibility of sending weapons to those regions that are fighting against countries supplying weapons to Ukraine. The Ukrainian military is unable to use long-range Western weapons on their own because all decisions have to be made by countries that supplied them, the Russian president continued. As I have already said, a flight assignment is required. And in fact, this is done by those who supply these weapons, by the Pentagon for ATA CMS, and by the British if it is Storm Shadow. Putin explained. Ukraine now has the right to mobilize its citizens for fighting against Russia. You know that there is a Hungarian minority in Ukraine. Many of them are called upon to fight on the side of the Ukrainian troops. They fight and die. And therefore, Hungary is the only EU country whose citizens living on Ukrainian territory die during this conflict. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said in an interview with Italian publication Il Giornale. Viktor Orban's words that Hungarian citizens living in Ukraine are being mobilized and sent to the front line are continued in the comments of officials from other countries. Initially, it was stated that only citizens of Ukraine who do not have citizenship of another state would be mobilized in Ukraine. However, firstly, in reality, this does not work. There are many confirmed facts that persons with dual citizenship were also subject to mobilization in Ukraine and secondly, now they have decided to legalize this format. The US Embassy in Ukraine has published a warning information for all its citizens who have a second Ukrainian citizenship. The embassy statement said that it is not recommended for American citizens who also have a Ukrainian civil passport to visit Ukraine. 
It is reported that as of June the 1st, the legal exception in Ukraine ceased to apply to the mobilization of all those citizens of the country who have lived abroad for a long time and have a second passport. From the report, American Ukrainian citizens, men between the ages of 18 and 60, are now no longer eligible for this exemption in Ukraine. For them, leaving the country is closed from June the 1st. Next, American diplomacy tries to justify itself to its Ukrainian citizens. We are limited in our ability to influence Ukrainian legislation, including legislation regulating martial law and mobilization in Ukraine. This is followed by a directive. If you are in Ukraine and cannot leave the country, obey the orders of the Ukrainian authorities. Thus, Washington actually states that it is not against the mobilization of US citizens with second Ukrainian citizenship into the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine.